Okay, so this is going to be a quick video to show how we use the CRED Forms plugin to add new content to the website right from a form and then edit the content using the form so you don't have to go into the dashboard of my WordPress site at all. So here is a CRED form that I've embedded into the site. It's not a very elegant form, but it's just got loads of different areas that collects all the information I need for a post like this. This is a product post. This website's about turbo trainers, which is one of these things here that connects to your bike so you can use it indoors. So this is a turbo trainer product page. We've got a title, we've got some specifications, we've got a main image, social shares. This is a price comparison. So this shows you where you can buy this particular model from and the price. This is a link to X display models, a link to where you can buy it on Amazon. Then we've got some description the video embedded of about the trainer then some more videos and we repeat the price comparison and other areas so this is a product page for a turbo trainer and this is what we're going to create from this form so i'm going to shut this down now so here's the form so we'll just go ahead and fill out this form so i'll call it a test turbo trainer and i've got all these these are custom fields that I created and I set these up using the types plugin I've talked about before. So I've got to say, is it a roller as a direct drive? It's a roller type. What's its brand? This is a tax. Then this is another section. This is for a filter I've got on the website. So I need to do it twice and I'll show you this later. And the model name, it's called the I Genius. This one that we're pretending to make up. We'll see its price is 999.99. It automatically adds a pound sign, so I don't need to do that. And what kind of resistance is it? It's a motor resistance brake. And then again, we've got to repeat this for my filter on my site. And then it's a high resistance level. It's a virtual reality kind of trainer. And a description goes here. And I'll just make something up. So I'll just copy that and repeat it low just so we've got something in there. And some images. So I'll just upload an image. Then this pop-up window shows. So I'll find an image on here. So that one will do. I'll choose another one. This one. And I'll choose another one. For my three image areas and then to which in a model let's see t2020 we'll see and i've got a area for price comparison code and i use a plugin called data feeder to generate these price comparisons and there's a short code i can put in here to do that so i'll just copy and paste that then i've got i need to do it again for a filter area on the website so i'll paste in a similar but slightly different code then I've got all the links to so you can see the product on Amazon. So I put in my Amazon code here that does that. And then all I need to do is go add trainer and then that should do it. So add trainer. And there we go. It's done it automatically for me. So test turbo trainer is what we called it. These are the details we put in. That's the first image we uploaded. It's put in the price comparison. It's put in these areas. So link to Amazon. So if I click this, opens up the Amazon page. And we've got my description that I put in. So description of this example table trainer repeated. Got these two images and then the price comparison and Amazon. So there we go. Really quickly set up a new product page straight from a form on the website. I didn't need to go into the dashboard. I didn't need to do anything like that. And it's as easy as that. But let's say I've made a mistake. Maybe I don't want to call it test turbo trainer. Maybe I want to call it test virtual reality turbo trainer and I can easily edit this I can go down here and at the bottom you see we edit test turbo trainer if I click that it opens up the form so I'll just go in here and go test
virtual reality table trainer. And these are all the other fields that are filled in. And why don't we change the price a little bit as well? So you, the price is actually wrong. So it's nine eight nine rather than nine nine nine. Edit to trainer. There we go, it's now called Test Virtual Reality Table Trainer and the price is now 98999. So that's the power of the CRED Forms plugin. It lets you create forms to create new products. And the reason it's got all these custom fields is because I've created them using the Types plugin previous and also it's styled like this because I use the Views plugin which is part of the toolset suite of plugins that includes CRED, Types, Views. And I said before, I had to fill out a couple of brand areas and a couple of breaking type areas. And that's because I've got a find a turbo trainer section, which has a filter list and a big list of turbo trainers. So our new trainers should be in here. So we've got the RRP. And there it is. There's our test virtual reality turbo trainer. And that's the price there. And if I click on it, it takes us through. And maybe I want to filter it so it's only showing me trainers between 800 and 1000 plus and of course our trainer will fall into that bracket which it does and if we go down the last one costs that much so that's it that's the end of this quick video to show you how I use the cred forms plugin to generate new products on this website